Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Tipton, and today we are estimating square roots. In the last video, we talked about perfect squares and square roots, but not every number is a perfect square, so sometimes we're going to need to estimate the value of a square root. A good example of that is right here in front of us, the square root of 20. If I get out my calculator and I type in 20, square root, I get 4.4721, what is this, 4.4721359549959579, goodness, it's irrational. Square root of 20 is irrational because we cannot write this as a fraction. The reason we can't do it is because that decimal, it does not terminate and it does not repeat. There's no pattern. We can only write it as a fraction if that decimal stops or there's a pattern, but we can't, so it's irrational. So we're going to have to estimate the square root of 20 because there is no exact nice pretty answer. We're going to estimate the square root of 20 by finding the perfect square that it's closest to. So how we're going to do that is we're going to write down the perfect square that's just under 20, which is 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. And the perfect square that's above 20 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. All right. Now, the question is, which one is it closer to? How far away is 20 from 16? It's 4 away. How far away from 20 is 25? It's 5 away. So it's actually closer to 16. 20 is closer to 16 than it is to 25. So we're going to say that the square root of 20 is approximately 4 because it's a little bit closer to 16 than it is to, uh, to 25. Down here on the number line, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. Where would the square root of 20 go on the number line? Well, we know that it's almost right in the middle, but it's slightly close closer to 4. Let's, let's say that's the halfway point right there. I'm going to put a dot, oh, slightly less than half for the square root of 20. Does that make sense? It's between 4 and 5, but it's a little bit closer to 4 than it is to 5, so it's going to go on 4's half of the number line. Let's look at another. Here we've got the square root of 111. Start by writing down the perfect square that's less than 111, which is square root of 100 equals 10. And the perfect square above 111 is 121. What's it closer to? What is 111 closer to? Right here we are 11 away. That was supposed to be an arrow. And 121 to 111, we're 10 away. So here, we're actually closer. We're actually closer to 121. So we're going to say the square root of 111 is approximately 11. If I fill out my number line, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, just putting some numbers on here. Halfway between 10 and 11 is right there. And we know that we are a little bit closer to 11 than we are to 10. So I'm going to put a dot right there. Square root of 111 right there. See how that works? That's pretty much it. Use the perfect squares that are just below and just above the one that you're looking for and when you uh, graph it on a number line just make sure you get it between the right numbers and get it you know is it you know who's it closer to 
Is it way closer to 11 than to 10, or is it more toward the middle? If you have questions, write them down, and we'll talk about them in class. See you soon.